Act like a man means don't act like a boy. I have five grandsons, all under the age of five, each one a special joy, but I must say that I've re they have reminded me of what I forgot since my kids were small. In a moment, they can go from crying to laughing to fighting. They are loud, needy, and demanding. They are constantly on the search for new thrills, and their life revolves around the itch of the moment. Paul reports in 1 Corinthians 13, 11, that when I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. Kids are not able to figure that the sun and the moon don't revolve around them. Men are supposed to know this. They are supposed to know this. Acting like a man means developing non-anxious presence, presence that sees the big picture, remains calm in a crisis, and won't cave under pressure. And won't cave under pressure. Godly men respond. They do not react. I confess that to having taken uh, far too long to learn that truth, as do I, Shiloh. I confess that as well. I'm 42, and I wish I would have learned this uh, 25 years ago, but I didn't. I'm just now learning it and relearning it. God had to put me in some very hot water before I was forced to realize the importance of being silent and when and when slandered, merciful when in the right, and lovingly patient when wrong. Any kid can join a meaningless, meaningless scrap in the schoolyard, but Paul completes the passage I just quoted by saying, when I became a man, I gave up childish ways. Act like a man does, don't mean act like a superhero. For some, forsaking the superhero persona may be the most important distinction. The above exhortations call a man to strength and stability, but, to, but those do not mean that men don't feel things deeply and at times struggle profoundly. We are not Iron Man. Every man needs a place to be open and vulnerable with brothers leaning together upon the Lord. I hope you have a small group of men you meet with regularly where you're open your life up and seek the strength of numbers focused on a common goal. A circle of men who will hear you confess and assure you of God's grace is uh, non-negotiable for biblical manhood. None of us is everything God calls us to be and, and like James says, we all stumble in many ways. Acting like a man does not mean acting. <laughs> the term actually means conduct yourself. It is the idea of intentionally choosing your behavior to reflect the best of what God calls us men to be. We will walk about on that. And we will talk about that on day two. But for now, take a moment to answer this question below and pray for God's help. Question number one: What can you do today and this week to be a better servant leader to your family? What can I do? I know what I can do. I can be a, a smarter, smarter leader. I can. Uh, not get as angry as I get with my sons and uh, be more forgiving on times when uh, my wife uh, upsets me and not get upset. Question number two. In what, in what ways might recent actions have appeared selfish and what can you do to, today to correct that? And question number three. Do you agree that a man keeping his word and refusing to make excuses is a good summary of manhood again again do you agree that a man keeping his word and refusing to make excuses is a good summary of manhood why and then there's a prayer father God I pray in the name of Jesus that uh, anyone who watches all men who watch this father God that it would and you would strike profoundly into their heart father God and that you would bless them by these words, Father God. And Father God, I just pray in the name of Jesus that um, if a man has been not fe feeling like acting like a man, if he's, you know, been, you know, not up to it, that you would you would uh, put upon his heart, Father God, and that you would uh, show him how to stand up and act like a man. Father, we thank you in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we give you all praise, glory, and honor. Amen. 
All right, everybody. Again, that's Act Like Men by Pastor uh, uh, James McDonald. If you want to get it and follow along, it's uh, on his website. I want you to know, I love you, each and every one of you, and I pray that God blesses you. And until I see you again tomorrow, because I'm going to I'm going to do this for 40 days in a row. Until I see you again tomorrow, God bless. Peace out, and stay strong and act like men.